This is Wonder Why is Korea. Wow. <laughs> Hello, this is Gina and this is Jesse. Yeah, so um, today is the second session to answer about the frequently asked question about epic spring intake. Um, so, so, what are the today's questions? Okay, this is first question. I have one more semester and I will get my bachelor diploma in December. What should I do? Okay, so you have one more semester you have to finish and you're gonna get your diploma, actual diploma maybe coming in December. Then, first of all, make sure you are going to get your physical diploma by December 20th, around Christmas of this year. Because uh, once you pass the job interview with that be you should submit all your documents including the diploma but you are a recent graduate so Epic will give you time to receive your diploma the deadline will be December 20th so first you should submit the diploma no, degree confirmation letter plus the current transcript and then later as soon as you get your physical diploma submit it to Epic and the deadline, make sure it is December 20th. Okay, um, I've heard that Epic is working on a first come, first serve basis. What does that mean? That means, that means, although you submitted your application to Epic very early and passed the job interview, without the document submission, the actual documents, recommend documents, you are not done with Epic. So, uh, once you pass the job interview like around the end of October, hurry up to send your documents as soon as possible. Like all in November is the maybe the best time you can submit your documents to secure your position with Epic. Thank you. Um, I'm planning to get recommendation letters, but who can be the best referee for me? Who? Okay, who, be, who will be the best uh, person who can write a recommendation letter or a reference letter for you? Of course, uh, they are one of your closest people, but not your friend or your family members. They should be your best professor or teacher or supervisor or manager or your employer. Someone uh, in a higher position than you. Someone who knows very well, like relating to your work, your performance, or your schoolwork. They are the best people who can write a best reference letter for you. Oh, okay, I see. Um, I will get reference letters from my professor. <laughs> so I'm just wondering, what, the, what is the difference among main intake, late intake, and flexible exactly? The differences are like this. Main intake means you want to start school uh, for the spring 2014 in March or late February. Because after nine days of orientation uh, with Epic teachers, you will go to your school like around February 27th or 8th. And officially, you will start to teach early March, the first week of March. And if you want to move to Korea sometime in March or, uh, or April, then you have to go for late intake. Then you are moving to Korea sometime like March 20th or April 20th. And then if you can be flexible with the starting dates, it means you don't mind coming to Korea uh, at the end of February or March 20th or April 20th. But if you cannot move to Korea, uh, just, uh, just uh, maybe in May or June, then you have to consider like applying to APIC for uh, the fall semester of 2014, not spring term. So we just invited Michael Velasco, who is working in Incheon um, MOE. MOE somewhere <laughs> okay so um, the next question is I'm not sure Korean students 
English level. Is there any information I can get to、um, refer when when I make a lesson plan for the application? All right. So I work in an elementary school, and、uh, the first thing you should know is that the first English class that they will have is in third grade.、Um, before that, they don't have English classes regularly, and so third grade is the first time they will have experience with English.、Um, The first things they do learn are very basic. Hello, how are you? My name is.、Uh, how many pencils? There are three pencils. Animal names. Very basic things. So that is something you should consider when you make a lesson plan. And it gets、uh, advanced as the years go on. Sixth grade, they are learning、uh, really advanced sentences.、Um, okay, yeah.、Uh, let's see. Okay. Thanks. Uh, a sixth grade sample lesson is、uh, future tense. What are you going to do tomorrow? I am going to ride a bike. Are you sure? It's going to be rainy in the afternoon.、Mm. So, again, from third grade, very basic to sixth grade,、uh, kind of more advanced sentence structures. Thank you, Michael. This is the last question. Why am I being asked to gather documents before Epic has even interviewed me? All right. So there are many documents, as I'm sure all of you know,、um, and the reason why is because there are a few documents that will take a long, long time.、Uh, the criminal background check. Once you do apply for it with the FBI,、um, it can take a couple months. And let's say you pass your epic interview, and you haven't done it yet, there may be a chance that you won't get it on time to even come to Korea. And the other documents, there are ones that you have to get apostilled, and it's just better to get it done in advance. Thank you for joining us, Michael.、Wow. And <laughs> see you next time.